Hi there. In this video I'm going to do some work on this Toshiba laptop because its hinges are really badly damaged especially in that corner you may see it actually lifting when I push it back a little bit. So hopefully we can fix this. So let's get to it. I'm going to open up this thing in high speed because because, <laughs> because it will uh, take a while it has a ton of screws all around hopefully because it has so many screws it has less clips those sometimes uh, break so yeah anyway high speed hopefully it works well for us When I turned this thing upside down with the covers removed, this thing popped out of it and it's not like any of the others. So I'm guessing this one is uh, from one of the hinges. So it might explain why this is actually doing what it's doing. You can see it here. So I need to unclip everything out and be quite, uh, quite gentle because this might break even more maybe let me try and hold on to it a bit okay yeah uh, I need to unclip this thing right here so I can remove the keyboard so let's attempt to do that now yeah this thing doesn't really like to, to stay in place yes everybody says uh, not to use metal you can scratch stuff and I 100% agree with them but uh, I still use metal for some things this might not be one of them because it just doesn't want to lift off or does it yes it, ah, dropped it black back in place come on lift up lift up and away you go and now we have access to the screws from keyboard from the keyboard yeah when working on a laptop like this you might uh, you might uh, put your screws in exactly the um, uh, pattern that you took them from so this you can actually put in a line somewhere uh, next to the keyboard uh, or take a lot of pictures or put them on a piece of paper somewhere and write what they are from I don't do that anymore because I've I've opened up my uh, my share of laptops over, over the years so I generally don't have issues uh, remembering what goes where but if you don't have a lot of experience you might so undo the connector here unclip it and pull out the keyboard and I'm not even sure that uh, I need to go more than uh, actually I do need to go more than this because you have a few screws holding this thing in place that's one so let's undo these ones in high speed also. If you want to see how I undo the screws in slower speed, you can use the uh, YouTube uh, slow uh, motion uh, thingy where you select the speed of your video. But I'm going to skip uh, in high speed over this. Now that we have the uh, palm rest and top cover <laughs> all in one uh, lifted or uh, unscrewed you need to remove this connector right here unplug it and it's a pain to unplug it <sighs> I need a flathead screwdriver make sure you do not uh, touch any components on the motherboard while doing this because if you do you are in a world of uh, trouble 
and whoever created the, uh, the layout for this board put a capacitor or resistor right next to the connector so it's like uh, asking for trouble and yeah also this thing needs to be undone because it's for the touchpad and buttons and we have lift off let's put that aside next to the keyboard and see what we have here <laughs> that hinge has absolutely no more screws let me zoom on it that hinge is floating in air so one of them is the one that I found right there and most likely the others are just missing completely so let's search for some screws this one is okay I will just uh, retighten those uh, two white screws and make sure they are good but this end seems to be nice there is where we have the problem so let's get to it another thing this was cracked and uh, just broke off when I touched it so we also need to glue that in place but should be fairly simple again let's search for the second screw in my uh, bin of screws from laptops a ton of them they're in the bottom quite simple I found one it's black but who cares it's uh, exactly the same size so let's make sure that this one is tight and it is and start putting the screws where they need to actually go come on so yeah one of them fell off a long time ago let's put the second one in there that we just find, uh, found come on and this is perfect now let me just tighten up let me zoom a bit out cannot see much in there hopefully it was at least partly in focus my camera tighten these ones yeah these were also a bit loose yeah and at this point glue that thing right over there and start putting this back together although I'm thinking something else I will put it back together and only after glue this because if I glue it now and start moving everything around this will broke once again break once again so yeah let's put uh, everything back in the same order we took them apart And it's done and working perfectly and this is the model in case you are wondering Toshiba satellite L750 1 MT and hinge problems no more done so off to the next job as always Thank you for watching hopefully this video is helpful um, in case it is give it a like subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye